Okay, this is a sort of quick um, presentation about Poisson random variables. And what we're going to do here is look at confidence intervals for Poisson random variables, specifically the confidence interval for the Poisson mean. Okay, now this might be of interest to you if you're interested in dispersion or over dispersion or just that sort of thing. Like, okay, so the question is the number of insurance claims which arise under a policy of a particular type in any given calendar year is to be modeled as Poisson random variable. That this type of thing is actually sort of quite common in actuarial types of analysis. Okay, so um, a random sample of 500 policies gave rise to 84 claims. So our estimate for the Poisson mean is 84 over 500, which is 0.168. Okay, so. Uh, calculate a 95% confidence interval for the Poisson mean, the true Poisson mean, so to speak. Okay, so the um, the, uh, the so just actually sorry, just actually the just a sort of important thing about Poisson, the Poisson distribution, is that the variance is equal to the expected value or the mean. So the the Poisson variance is equal to the Poisson mean. Okay, so our estimate is actually a double a double estimate. That's actually the, the as in it, it doubles up. It has uh, two jobs. It's an estimate for the Poisson mean and an estimate for the Poisson variance. So what we're going to do here is calculate a ninety five percent confidence interval. And if you're familiar with the confidence interval, this actually follows the very same structure, the usual structure. Uh, point estimate, which is here is the, the mean, plus or minus uh, 1.96. Now here we have lambda, and this time lambda is of acting as the variance. Okay, so this is the variance over n. Okay, you might be used to uh, s over the square root of n, but this is equivalent. Okay, so we have lambda, the, or the estimate for lambda here, which is the variance over n. So not point uh, one six eight over five hundred square root of that. That is the standard error. Okay, working it out in the calculator, not point not one eight five three. You know, a few decimal places would suffice here. And then just to sort of tidy it up, not point one six eight plus or minus not point not three six. When you just multiply that out, you get the margin of error, and you can report it as follows. Uh, you could actually put up the upper and lower bound, but I'm sort of happy enough to leave it at that uh, that as is. So that would give you a 95% confidence interval for your Poisson mean estimate. So we leave it there. That's a nice short one.